you I love. All of you I love. I love this space. Who is that? I love this space that we're in. This physical space. This emotional space. Yeah. This psychological space. This embodied My name is Shady Radical. I live in Atlanta. When I think about Cop City, it hurts. When I think about Atlanta, I'm home. Is the future of Atlanta my hurt or my home? My name is Celeste Miller and I live in Fulton County. I am against Cop City because it reinforces a hyper-militarization mentality of policing. I dream of an Atlanta that practices preserving and restoring green spaces in creative collaboration with the demands of an expanding population, housing inequity, and responsible solutions to gentrification. A city that is known for its leadership in reimagining policing as part of a holistic service sector built for equitable safety and health systems for all its communities. Hello, my name is Dr. Laura Neef. I'm an Atlanta resident, District 2. Stop Cop City. I don't want Cop City because I want to live in a city where the cops don't have guns. They aren't policing some neighborhoods more than others. I want to live in a city where we don't, like, 
the police just aren't even called the police anymore. There are no police. That, like, that's, not, that's not a thing. That's not what we do in our city to stay safe. Um, my name is Julie B. Johnson. I live in DeKalb County and I work in the West End in Atlanta. I'm against Cop City because it builds on a long history of hyper-policing and surveillance in this country that has never proven to make our community safe. I dream of a future Atlanta that is liberatory, restorative, and joyful. With accessible community green spaces, a robust and equitable education system, affordable housing, and ample support for the arts. Hi, I'm Nick, and this is Marley. I live in the hills in Atlanta. I'm against Cop City because the police's menacing response to civilians who express dissent is a harbinger of authoritarianism. I dream of a future Atlanta where everyone has access to affordable housing and a job that pays a living wage and affords them dignity. And most of all, equitable access to political power and self-determination.